Bobby thought he was running the show. <laughs> now the ladies are laughing at my brother over there trying to be a young father because <laughs> y'all know better. Okay, okay, good stuff. Good. Now look, that's leadership, right? You never know. You think you got it all figured out. You got a plan. You got a whole bunch of stuff you're about to say and boom. Look at Tracy. Yeah, don't laugh. <laughs> He'll make it back if he possibly can. Okay, very good. Who's next? Dr. Ed. Thank you, sir. Hey, Sean, that was uh, really great. I really loved how you dived into the numbers there. Um, it was really shocking to see um, to only 20% of people who are working in the U.S. saying that they're engaged at work. And you wonder, like, wow, like, what are they doing instead? You know, if they're not engaged, like, what, what, would, what are they doing? They're just browsing the web, like, they're, they're, they're not, like, they're, you're not really taking the full advantage of your own workforce. That's Unbelievable, right. right? Like, if you, you have that, it's like, wow, what kind of organization would that be? You just got a bunch of people, and the other one that you said about like the different teams kind of working in different directions, like one team wants to build all these great features. They want to serve their customer. The other one just wants to save money. Like you, you, you're not going anywhere and, uh, because of it. And it kind of showed um, that often uh, when it comes to those, those values, it didn't come out enough. Like people weren't clear that, you know, no, we, we care about quality. Like this is where we're going to be, where we're going to be at. Um, and that can be that can be really tough. Like people don't really know the direction. The answer is always yes. We want everything, and you know they they very rarely say no to certain things. And I think that that's the uh, it's a it's a challenge in that I see in in leadership. It's not really leadership. It's just like oh okay yeah of course whatever's great <laughs> let's go. <laughs> yeah yeah it is. And you know one part of one part of leadership that's also hard based on your example is that you can't stand for it. As the leader, you can't stand for it. You can't allow it to fester because it will poison. And you got to catch it, clip it, and excise it. Like a cancer. You have to be an operator. You have to be a doctor. Business requires observation so you can't just not be present you have to be present you have to be aware you have to know what's supposed to be done so when someone says they're going to do something you know if they didn't do it and you know why and you got to have standards that you keep no matter who the person is and it's not always easy and you have to let people fall with grace at the same time because it's not personal so there's a lot of balancing acts when it comes to leadership oh, oh.